Hello lovies and welcome back to Ladidia's Creations. For this DIY, I'm getting ready to make over that door right there. And I placed that blue label right there so that I can actually show you guys the name of the hard plastic that I'm going to be placing over the door. The first thing that I'm getting ready to do is to take that knob right there off. But this is the name of the hard plastic. It's called Polywall Utility Panel. You can get this at Home Depot. A young lady here on YouTube was the first one that I saw use this poly wall utility panel her name is uw essentials and she did some door makeovers actually i think she did about three door makeovers uh, and they all turned out beautifully but i'm going to be using this um poly wall utility panel i don't think that she used this on her door and i have been sitting over here trying to mix up some paint i forgot to actually record that and let you guys see the mixture. Actually, it was black paint, and I were thinking about doing the door in black, but I changed my mind at the last minute, and I decided to actually go and make this gray. All I did was added some of this matte acrylic white paint, Apple Bauer from uh, Walmart, into this. And like I said, this, this was just a black paint. I didn't get the name I did get the paint from Home Depot. It is a Vaspar color sample. I didn't think that I needed a whole lot of it just to paint this door. So this is what I'm going to be using. And without further ado, I'm going to start taking that doorknob off. Okay, so I'm just taking the knob off. And to do that, all you have to do is to remove the two screws that holds it together, basically. And I am trying not to have to use a screwdriver. I think I'm going to have to get the screwdrivers to finish taking it on off. Okay, levies, these are the little screws that I'm using. I'll show them to you. That's the little screw, it's really tiny. Can't hardly see it. But these are the screws that I'm using. Okay, so I'm just going to place three screws on here. One at the top, one right here in the center, and one down at the bottom. Okay, let me, so right here, all I'm doing is just cutting off the excess of the hard plastic. Okay, let me, so this is the hard plastic having been placed on the door. And I didn't put a knob right there because of the fact that I'm going to add a long handle on here. But I was looking at Home Depot for one of those little flat um, covers and the ones that they had was very expensive. So I figured I'd take and look online. But for the time being, the handle that I'm going to add is going to serve its purpose. Um, right now, I'm getting ready to paint the door. I actually thought I had press record when I first started and the door is looking actually a little darker than I wanted it to this is gray um, my walls are actually gray too and I didn't want the same color gray my walls are actually a lighter color gray And I didn't want the door and the wall to be the same color, but I did want it to be a little lighter. I guess I didn't put enough white in it to change the color. And love you, I would never guess that my daughter came in my room and she had something in her hand and she threw it up and knocked my paint over and she had to go and get me some more. It spilled all over my nightstand. It was a good thing that peeling stick paper had the backing on it. 
that it did. Okay, lovey, so this is the door having been painted and dried. It turned out beautifully. I don't know if the door is actually looking black to you guys, but it's actually a slate looking gray. So right now what I'm getting ready to do is to um, take and build the handle, and then I'm going to come back and can place some tape on the door in a pattern. So I'm going to use that paint to stain It's going it. to fit on there like that right there. It's going to be one on this end and then one on the other end. I'm going to take and drill pilot holes in here for my screw to go in. Just going to drill this pilot hole right here on this end. Then I'm going to place my screw in it so it'll be ready to actually go into the door. I'm getting ready to use this tape right here and this tape is one eighth of okay, an inch. Lovey, I have begun to place my geometric lines on the door and I use that one eighth of an inch tape. Fret not, fret not, fret not, fret not, fret not. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, so for this, I went ahead and drew the line on the door where I wanted that. And all you have to do is take and place the tape on there. Loveys, I present to you the door makeover. It turned out beautifully. I still have to finish painting my frame around the door, but the door makeover is gorgeous. It went from looking similar to that door right there to that. I love it. But lovies, I have one more thing to do. I've attached the bottom portion of the handle and I went ahead and stained the door handle the way that I wanted it to be. And I didn't want to stain it totally in that charcoal gray where it wouldn't be able to be seen like the sides I did do the charcoal gray I probably should have did it the same way on the sides but that is what I ended up doing to it and like I said I have to just attach the top portion right there so let's get to okay, it lovey. so I'm just going to go ahead and attach the top portion of the door my pilot hole is already there and Okay, so that completes the door. And lovies, I want to apologize to you guys for the um, geometric stripes that I wasn't able to show you all as much as I thought that I were. My camera had stopped. So I apologize to you, but all you have to do is just basically know where you're going to be placing your lines but I apologize for that. But all you have to do is basically know where you're going to place your lines and then just put the tape on. And that was all I did. The camera went out when I was trying to show you guys this line right here. But all you have to do is just, like I showed you, I had drew those two lines right there, this one and that one. And all I did was just place it along the line. But lovies ah! i am in love with my door for transformation i am painting the frame i am not yet done with my frame being painted I have to do the inside here and up there and on the back side right there. But I finished it on this side right here. So I am now going to try and give you all a picture of the whole door. That is the door makeover. It turned out beautifully. It went from looking like that door right there 
to that. What a transformation. But lovies, it's time to go. I love you guys and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you guys. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. I love you guys. And as always in parting, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed.